Fausta Namungova is among the many patients waiting for a chance to have heart surgery for rheumatic heart disease, a condition she has battled for a decade now. <laughs> She was told the Uganda Heart Institute has the ability to operate on her, but she's constrained by finances. Unfortunately, the institute is now unable to conduct several awaiting procedures due to a shortage of resources. We gave Rock a short time because we already had a donation of equipment by the Hungarian government. So the Ugandan side was supposed to complete the construction and the Hungarian government does the equipping. And as we talk, Rocco failed to do that bit and it is now a matter of courts. We had already lined up children. We had already lined up. We have not been able to achieve it. However, Cardiovascular diseases are a growing problem in Uganda with a prevalence of 25%. One in every four adults has hypertension, which is a quarter of the adult population, both in the rural and the urban setting, is already a candidate for heart disease. The State Minister for Health in charge of primary health care, Margaret Mohanga, says government is now prioritizing research in this field. The government of Uganda is sourcing funds to the tune of $75 million, which is needed for the Uganda Heart Institute as a standalone cardiac facility, both locally and through international partnerships and collaborations. World Heart Day is meant to raise awareness about what every individual can do to avert heart diseases. Some of the key preventive measures include regular exercising, good dietary habits, controlled consumption of alcohol and smoking. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.